area. Three lengths away, Henry Tudor's runner's race going about to go past him as Cabello Noir and then followed by Just Got Home. Further back is uh, who can tell? Two to go for Arshin and Michael Ralstaby. Down to the second and last. R over by six lengths from Ave Maria. Cabello Noir just got home. One to go for Arshin as he only has to jump the last at it. All ploughed through it but has got the momentum up and it's home here. Arshin and Michael Ralstaby race away for the win in the first. Second will be Ave Maria. Third at the line Cabello Noir and then came Just Got Home and I think who can tell may have just edged out Henry Tudor uh, for that fifth and sixth position and they've all made it around safely. It's Jock and Renton up on the outside of it. Look out. They've opened out by six lengths here from Ali Barber Whoppers. They've got two to go further back then to Mark Wood and then Princeville and Mandalay. Down to the second to last. Look out the leader. Jock and Rent won't go away on the inside. At the second to last. Look out leads a half length from Jock and Rent. In third spot Ali Barber. Down towards the last they come. The two favourites at it. Look out first over. Jock and Rent on the inside. They sprint to the line here. Look out on the outside. Oh, he's having a good old look all right, but he's got there and winning debut. Look out, beat Jock and Rent. They gave us a great sight. Third over some distance away was Ali Barber and then followed over by uh, Mendeley fourth and behind those Whoppers. Then Mark Wood followed by Princeville and uh, the others haven't competed the course. I don't think they've been pulled up on the journey. They were Press My Buttons, Manhattan Street and also Signal Dahl. And Sanasi, it's he's all jazz the leader. Leads by a length, still there. He's Dan. Now three lengths away is entangled. The dollar seventy pop is about a hundred to one at this stage as they come towards the second to last, although he's off the rail now and he's looking to run on. He's Dan back in front, reach for it from he's all jazz out wider than Zentangle. Then further back, Florence Ivy. One to go for he's Dan. He's at the last measured it beautifully and dashes away. He's Dan and Ellen Nicholas are going to race away from all the way wins in tangle raced into second third at the line will be he's all jazz and then followed by florence ivy and the other two were not persevered with uh, they were sanasi and also class above and three lengths back, Guy Fox is still stone motherless. Up towards a home turn, 300 metres to go. Rodmar laying down the gauntlet here. Leads by five lengths for Magnanimous Man. And behind them next is in a minute, followed by Good Vibes. Further back is Red John, Mondorani, Guy Fox and Wagner. But at the 150, Rodmar, he took off a long way from home to race Cole, but there was a winning of the race. He had an elongated look over the shoulder too and the run to the line and Rodmar, a confident rider and a good ride, wins it easily, second over in a minute, third was uh, back in third spot, Magnanimous Man then Red John, then Guy Fox Mondorani, Wagner and Good Vibes will be the last of them home and now they all start to make their moves here, Goodwill is right on the speed, so is Dr Velocious so is Carnaby, out wide is Turak Tower, closer in then we've got Rodolfo and uh, Handsome Blue as they turn for home and the amateur riders at the 250 and it's Carnaby who's made the lead. Out wide, Dr. Velocious is coming after it. Easy walking's looking to run on. Battling away, Goodwill. Ascomani's running on as well with Rodolfo. It's Carnaby in front here at the 100 metres for Sarah Fennan. And Carnaby's going to go on and score here. Goodwill will be second. Third, Dr. Velocious from Rodolfo. And then came Ascomani, followed over by Ray's the Phantom. Easy walking. A gap back then to Sir Ritchie. With that was Turak Tower, then Handsome Blue. And back at the tail of the field was T Pot is Manhattan Flame. Up towards the home turn they come. 400 metres left to go and it's still St. Croix the leader. From up on the outside New York Jazz. Manhattan Flame to the outside and over on the inside poking right through now. Good night Irene. Homeward bound they are at the 250. New York Jazz ranged up to take the lead here. From St. Croix. Manhattan Flame still battling away. Good night Irene. It's New York Jazz. Now coming back at it. St. Croix on the inside and St. Croix. Masa Hasasumi riding well and I reckon he kitted to that horse on the home turn and he's got the win here, St. Croix number one will take it out from New York Jazz Goodnight Irene and Manhattan Flame
at the 400 metres. It's making waves, the leader for Midnight Invasion on the outside, who's poised to pounce. Two lengths away, next to out wide is into the deep. Uh, followed in behind those then as they head for home by Abu Dhabi. At the 200 metres, Midnight Invasion, the leader, into the deeps, looking to wind up on the inside for making waves. Midnight Invasion and Michael Coleman in charge at the stage. Into the deeps, trying hard on the inside, but Midnight Invasion holding sway, and Midnight Invasion won the last from into the deep. Third, making waves. Fourth was Abu Dhabi, and then came Chad, followed by Blushing Heights, and Sinor Moss will be the last of them home.